Yeah. This is our wig dryer. It's um, it's a wooden wig dryer, and it's a it's a food heater, and a, <laughs> in between shows we heat our food up in there. <laughs> I start the show as a nun, and uh, I'm dressed in my wimple, and then uh, in the middle of the show, I become a party guest, and I get to put on makeup and a beautiful wig, coiffed by Natasha, and a um, uh, lovely gown, and uh, go out and with my champagne glass and have a good time for a little while, and it really uh, it helps me. Uh, it gives you something to look forward to through the show. It's like you've got these wonderful uh, dynamics and different people to be. So it's really it's fun. <laughs> and here's the baby. <laughs> Voila. I play two parts. I play Sister Berta at the beginning, who sing uh, How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria? And the, she's the mean one, the flibberty gibbet nun. And then this is my trio, the Sangerbun, where we come out and we uh, yodel at the party and win at the end. Third prize. Third prize. Up close, you can see this teeny, teeny little film, but from the back of the house, Can't there's see it. no way that you can see that. Isn't that amazing? It's, it's, it is. It's, and I believe if, if this is film lace, so that it's so fine. Is that right, Carol? That's the right. film lace? Yes. It's so fine it can't be seen. It's amazing. It doesn't it feels so light. The wig is so light on our head. And it was an instant change like that. Instant. Boom. You like this. Couldn't really do it any other way because if you were your hair is all pulled back under a habit or whatever they call them. Yeah, and we have it all preset in the beginning. We all pin curl our hair and we put wig caps on and so we're set to go. And then we take off our wimples and come up here and they we're on. Now, I understand you just got married. I did. Well, that's pretty good for a nun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just got married two weeks ago, City uh, Hall. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's well, wonderful. best wishes Thank to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're Thank welcome. Thank you. Have a good day. Continued success with the show. Thank you very much. I'll go yodel now. OK. I'm Laura Benanti, and I'm 19 years old. And I'm being transformed into elegant party guest number two. And um, starting March 10th, I'm going to be replacing Rebecca as uh, Maria Rayner, opposite Richard Chamberlain. Um, and that's that. <laughs> this is very exciting that an understudy gets to step yeah. into the lead role and take over. It's pretty over. amazing. And especially such a wonderful person like Rebecca. I mean, she's amazing. But she seems she very really supportive is. of you, which uh, is very nice. Unbelievably supportive. I mean, I have like cards and cards and cards from her in my dressing room just saying how excited she is. And, you know, she's just a wonderful role model. This is not the norm, as you may, uh, as you may have know. heard. And that's what they keep telling me. And this was your very <laughs> first Broadway show on top of it? Yeah, I went right from high school into this. Actually, I went to NYU for a week. A week? Yes, learned everything I needed to know and <laughs> left. <laughs> well, it, it came about, I guess, a couple months ago. They were talking about it, because I, I guess Rebecca was leaving or, or what have you. And um, they mentioned to me, Richard Frankel called me at home, um, and he mentioned to me that you know, they were thinking of me as a replacement, but they weren't sure there's a lot of names in the mix. And then they called me in to audition with Richard Chamberlain, and I did that. Um, and then it just kind of happened. <laughs> I, I can't describe it. It was exciting um, and scary. And um, I, I, I really can't describe it. It felt like a fairy tale. I know that sounds really stupid to say, but it truly did. Like I. I was there with my mom when I found out, and she'd, we just looked at each other like, this doesn't happen. You know, we both started to cry. <laughs> so that was it. I mean, I remember when they told me I was going to be understudying Rebecca and that I was going to be a nun, and I was started to cry. So this has been like nine months of just sheer fantasy for me. But now I have to go sing off stage with the kids. <laughs>
while we were shooting backstage, but then we heard that Maria was getting dressed for her wedding in the lobby. So now you know, Maria gets Captain Von Trapp. But there's a lot more to this show, and we're not telling you any more. You're going to have to come back and see it for yourself. I had forgotten what a great show The Sound of Music is. Look, we just came out of the matinee, and a thousand other people are standing in line for the next evening performance. You know, the best fairy tales are the true stories. Whether it be Maria Von Trapp and the Von Trapp family singers or the story of a 19-year-old unknown understudy who takes over the role as Maria, following in the footsteps of Rebecca Luker, Mary Martin, and Julie Andrews. So go to the Martin Beck Theater, see this Rodgers and Hammerstein classic. It's now starring Richard Chamberlain and Laura Benanti, directed by Susan H. Schulman. You'll have a great time. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I won't give away the ending, but, uh, but they get away from the Nazis. <laughs> thank God. <Yeah. laughs> we want to thank the various unions without whose consent this visit could not take place.